soundtrack and I just fell in love with that guitar solo. I was listening to a lot of different stuff at that point uh, in my age and uh, that solo just struck out as badass and I thought it was awesome. So we're going to kind of go back to the roots there and, and learn that um, solo. Here we go. Let's uh, take a look at it. string, playing both strings, B and E, then you're going to go very easy on your second fret on your B string, just open, okay, third to the fifth fret, try just by, uh, some on the B string at first. Okay, then just play both strings at the same time. Okay, then from there, you go to the next part. Which is on your G string, and you'll play both strings again, B and E at the same time. Get that fuller sound than just doing it by itself. And that's your first fret to your fourth fret on the G string. And then you'll go to your second fret on your B string from there. It's your B string. So it's second fret on your B string. Then from your second fret on your B string, you're going to be going to your D string, to the fourth fret, and bending that fourth fret down. No. To the second fret on the D string. And that right there, that's your D string. Fourth fret to the second fret. So C. So you're going from your G string to the first to the fourth fret. B string, 2nd fret, and then to your D string, 4th fret to the 2nd fret. 
bending the fourth fret, and then straight down to that. Then you do it again. Then you're going to be going up to the A position, you're going to be going up to your fifth fret. Pretend you're going to play a A chord. There's your G chord, there's your F chord, there's your A chord. That, this is how you bar it, this is how you do it regularly. But then you're going up, slide up to your fifth fret. I like to, you know, you're sliding up, you landing on your um, G string, you're on your sixth fret, and your fifth fret is going to be holding, barring down the um, fifth fret on your B and fifth fret on your E string. So then you're going to be sliding up and you're going to be barring on your G string. You're going to have your uh, finger on the sixth fret and on your uh, B, B and E string you're going to be barring those on the, both on the fifth fret and on your B string you're going to be having your finger um, going in back and forth on the seventh fret. So you're going to be bending. See what I'm doing? And you're going to be bar still barring on your fifth and s on your fifth frets on the B and E string. But you're going to be taking that finger on the seventh fret of your B string and bending it up. Just like that. Then, here's the really cool part, which Setzer likes to uh, pick. I don't usually pick because I'm retarded, but he gets that cooler, twangy, country chicken picking sound by doing it. And what he's doing there, that's on your B and E string, and you're going up on your 8th fret and your 7th fret. And then, on your B string, you're just going to be going to the 9th fret. Playing both at the same time, both strings at the same time. Okay? I kind of give it a little bit of a bend up so it doesn't sound so dull when you're like... Even when you don't bend it up, it doesn't sound dull either, I guess. Okay? So you're just playing your 8th fret and 7th fret, 8th fret on the B string, 7th fret on your E string, and you're just going to be moving on 8th to 9th fret on your B string. Just like so, how I'm doing it. Then you're going to go back to the uh, A position again. Then back to the beginning with just something a little bit different. The same thing. And then instead of going, you're going to be doing like a little bit of a pull-off on your G string. Fourth to the second fret. And your D string, second fret.